In this video, I will tell you why your pizza dough is sticky. Spoiler alert, you may be hasty. Hello everybody, welcome to Fabulous Pizza. If your dough is sticky and it remains glued to your hands and makes you want to commit the deadly mistake that is adding more flour, keep watching and I will tell you two most likely reasons. Before I dive in, let me give a shout out to Alan and Lou. They joined the Rolling Pin Liberation Front. I'm not the only member anymore. Thanks Alan, thanks Lou. Uh, invite your friend to join us, the more the merrier. Back to our topic now, sticky dough. First of all, I assume you're getting the proportions right. So the water indicated by your recipe is not too much compared to the flour. A good ratio could be 60-62% water, it means 60-62 grams of water per 100 grams of flour. Remember, you can use my dough calculator, you'll find the link in the description of the video together with the link to my Instagram and Facebook pages where you can see everything I make. Let's move to the table now, I will show you the first reason. Okay, here's the reason number one. I started already to make this dough. Let me continue a little bit. So I incorporate most of the flour. In a while, I will stick my hand inside. And I will show you that it's a little bit sticky for now. Let me grab all the stuff, no waste here. Okay, please note this is my whole recipe. There is 100 grams of water and 150 grams of uh, uh, flour, time two, because I'm gonna make two pizzas. Um, stay with me while I need. You see here is sticky already. Okay, this is a, the critical moment when your dough is really sticky and you feel the need to add more flour in, into your dough. But do not do it. This is the moment where you need to be patient and take advantage of all your craft. The more you need the more the flour and the water will become a single a single thing, the more the salt will do its will have its effect to absorb the water from the environment. Can you see? It's pretty sticky. It sticks not only on my hands but all over my table. But I will not add any more flour. I will just be patient. Maybe at some point I will speed up the video. See, see, stickiness, stickiness, stickiness. Pay attention to the moment when the, the door moves from the table. It's becoming less and less sticky. By the, by the minute. Can you see? It rolls. It's still sticky on my hands because I had some, some leftover here. But pay attention, it's already becoming less sticky. See? Okay, I'll clean my hands. Again, no waste. Everything goes inside. I want to incorporate it inside my dough. Now, my dough is still not ready. I need to finish, but it's becoming way smoother. Can you see? My finger is clean. At the bottom it was still sticky because it stayed on my hands, which is warm. It's 
Let me clean my hands again. Now my hands are perfectly clean, wash, wash them, and I will show you. And they are still perfectly clean after I touch my dough. Because my dough is now perfectly uh, together, it's a perfect blend between flour and uh, uh, water. I was really patient, and even though I still need to, to finish kneading because it's not, it's not ready yet, it's not sticky anymore. So, to avoid the stickiness, you just need to be patient, keep kneading, keep kneading. Now you know that you need to be patient, continue kneading and eventually the dough will be just right, nice and smooth. However, there is another possible reason and it depends on the flour you're using. Remember, there are different kinds of flour and they are not all the same. What's relevant for our purpose today is the amount of water the flour absorbs. Rule of thumb, a certain amount of plain flour, all-purpose flour, will absorb less water than the same amount of bread flour, strong flour, call it as you wish. So if you always made your dough with bread flour, but at some point you try the same recipe using plain flour, then you will experience the stickiness.